Governor Andy Bashir visited the McGoffin County Career and Technical Center in Salyersville this morning in order to present a check for $4.3 million to officials from the McGoffin County Board of Education. The funds, which will be used to finance the construction of a new state-of-the-art vocational education facility, represents an investment toward the betterment of education and career training for all students in the area, regardless of the career path they choose. Uh, it is great to be here today with exciting news that we can all be thrilled about, knowing that the next set of students and the next set of students after that are going to have more opportunity, better hands-on training, and McGoffin County Schools are going to get a chance to look to the future, to redesign their training, and to truly give your kids in this county, in this community, the best possible opportunity for the future that they are so excited about. Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. Governor Bashir also took the opportunity to highlight his recent discussions with the Kentucky General Assembly, during which multiple aspects of the infrastructure needs of our area were discussed, all while emphasizing the success of bipartisan efforts between lawmakers on both sides of the political aisle to make such funding possible. We got together, we sat around a big table. We had the opportunity to make generational investments in water and sewer. I mean, clean drinking water is a basic human right. We got to sit around the table and talk about broadband, which we know is the infrastructure of the future, as important as anything else. We got to sit around the table and talk about the age and condition of our career and technical schools. And I'm really proud that we all came together, red and blue, Democrat and Republican, House and Senate, executive branch and legislative branch, and we did the right thing. Yeah. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joshua Sloan.